Welcome back to Alcamilla. So I just came from there, let's see if we can go upstairs. Ah, you can come out of the corner, it's okay. I rescind my timeout. Oh, okay, you can just stay there. Music box looks like it's broken. Perhaps I can fix it. This actually this actually reminds me quite a bit of Condemned. Being in the mall with a bunch of mannequins. Not all food is good for you. Be careful of what you eat before it eats you. The city is definitely not safe, no kidding. Hmm. I believe this is what they call math. So 2 plus 2 equals x1, 2 minus 2 equals x2, okay. So it's telling me the value of each variable. Um, I should write this down, shouldn't I? Yes, I should. Let me do that and I'll be right back. Alright, all done. Now it's open. Wait, what do you mean now it's open? Did I have a key on me or something? Because I don't think I did. Or was it just like... Oh, it was locked from the other side, right. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I can't go downstairs in the mall, but I want to know what's here first. I... Like the stairwell. I, I want to go up in the stairwell and check these other doors. Okay, keypad. In fact, I might already have the password for that. The, uh, the X1, X2, X3, X4, that might just mean like the first digit, the second, the third, and the fourth. Um, let's actually just assume that's true and let's do it. So we have 2 plus 2 is the first, so it's obviously 4. Uh, 2 minus 2 is the second, which is 0. 2 divided by 2 is the third, which is uh, 1, and 2 times 2 is the fourth, which is 4. 
So 4014. No. I guess not. I mean, it is like putting them into variables. Like, it's saying that x1 equals 2 plus 2. So maybe I need to find, like, what the actual layout is. I mean, I don't know if x1 is actually the first in the password. Before I go down in the mall, let's go up and see if I can access floor three. Nope. Down it is. Oh my god, that's a really disturbing image. The pig is cutting itself to be eaten. And it seems happy to do so. Ew. Okay, I think I'm missing something. Yeah, let's go back to the kitchen. There's something else in here. I'm pretty sure this is telling me the password to that door. Yeah, four, zero, one, four. It takes you right back here. It loops around, which is even more suggestive that it's supposed to be the password for that panel over there. Let me think about this. Well, I was standing there staring at the keypad and a little bit of, kind of like, hint text just popped up and said that um, there should be three notes for the equations. I have no idea how my character is supposed to know that there's three notes for the equations, but he just said, like, I think there's supposed to be three of them. Which, uh, you know, I won't complain about because that is actually very helpful because it tells me that I don't have all the information that I need. So I just started looking around and I found that right back at the entrance I actually missed something. There's a save point there and you can just go on under here. Ah, 
that's for the musical key thing, isn't it? The, the musical box. It's a funky sounding little keyboard thing. This is cool, I like it. Seems like only every other key actually plays sound. The other ones just make like a click noise. Okay, so I'm guessing I need to probably repair the music box before I can actually figure out what tune to play. Uh, wait, what? Did I just accidentally play the right thing? Because it just started playing on its own and, um, there's a key? Uh... I think I mashed them in the right order or something. Uh, okay. Cool. I won't complain. Well, I've got a key to somewhere, and there might be some other places that I missed as well. Nope, looks like that's it for here. Let's try the basement, although I think the basement is broken. Yeah, the lock is broken. Oh, hello. Ah! So this is like a full-on equation. X and Y. Alright, let me write this down. Y2, Y4, Y1, and Y3. Is that all the information I need? Because the little hint said that, said that there's three pieces of paper, and I only have two. Hmm. I mean, it could be that X1 corresponds to Y1. Or... Not sure. Most likely the third note will probably say something like x squared equals y2 and then I need to like plug in the value that I solved for x and then solve it for y. I think that's what's going to happen. There's no way I can possibly solve that though. It's way too complicated. Don't you need to take like calculus 2 for that? Solving X's and Y's variables. No one's ever solved the variable. We don't even know what variables are. No one knows. Okay, what have I encountered that's been locked? I really don't remember. Uh, I unlock that on the other end. That goes out. This goes... Oh, <laughs> there you go. Isn't that from the anime Berserk? Or is that something else?
It kind of looks like Guts, which is the name of the character in Berserk. I don't know. I'm not very much of an avid anime watcher, so I might be mixing that up. Bunny girl! And there's something missing. There's nobody here either. There's nobody anywhere. Oh god, the mirror. Not the mirror. I don't like mirrors. would wear something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Is this like a a joke jab at cosplayers? Neon Genesis Evangelion. So much anime. Oh, let's see if I can recognize these. I'm terrible with anime because I barely watch them. Uh, that is, of course, uh, Naruto. I have no idea what that is. No idea. No idea. Uh, flashlight's making it weird. That is... Is that... Um... Uh, Jesus Christ, I forgot. A uh, Full Metal Alchemist, I think? Yeah. Um, that's that awesome, really short anime that I forgot the name of. It was damn good, though. And that's the melancholy of Hurui Suzuma, or whatever it was. Uh, no idea, no idea. That's Elf and Lied, it even says right there. Uh. Oh, yeah, Eureka 7. I watched a little bit of that. No idea, no idea. I don't know what that is, but it looks like somebody playing around with nude models in 3D Max. That's some sort of a classic anime, don't remember the name of it. Anyway. I feel like there's going to be some sort of a painting puzzle. Because look, it looks like she's pointing to the empty portrait. And there's also one missing here, although none of these other paintings are like pointing at it or anything. Is there actually anything in here that I need? Because I still, like, I'm still missing a note. What the hell? Get out of here. Am I supposed to do something with the mirror? Oh, what the... Oh, it's just stuck on the corner, I guess. That's weird, you have to go... That's really weird. Okay, there we go. The, the opening for that is much smaller than it appears. Aw, that's so romantic. Skeleton. One skeleton holding another skeleton to his chest. 
What a cute couple. Lonely skeleton. Sexy. This looks significantly more disturbing than it was before, and it already looked pretty disturbing. You must hold on to your sense of time. In the room of cold steel and dirty clothes, the hours are broken. The flow of time is unstable. Do you know what the time is? I don't. The clock above the hole is wrong. How did you get here? Have you sinned as well? If so, and then it just ends. In the room of cold steel and dirty cloth, the hours are broken. Is that where I just was? Oh god, those noises. Oh god. One plus one is... Uh... Three? I, I don't understand what these correspond to. One plus one doesn't really tell me anything. I have no idea. I'm just going to leave that for now. I can't access the stairwell anymore. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say the elevator works, but there isn't even an elevator in here anymore. Before I go down, let me make sure there's nothing more over here. So I just came from here, right? Yeah. That doesn't work. What about this? No. Nope. The handle is turning, but the door won't budge. So if I want to get back to putting... to inputting the stuff into the keypad, then yeah, I need to get back to the other world. I need to find the note and get back to the other world. have vanished from my world. This town has changed me. But in the end, I am guilty. I think you understand. You're the same. If the colors begin to vanish from your world too, then you must cling to reason. Even with only two colors left, you can still make a third. these open? What the hell am I supposed to do then? Even with only two colors left, you can still make a third. I think that might be referring to the puzzle upstairs with the colors and the number? One plus one? 
With two colors, you can make a third. Yeah, by mixing them. So the only place I can go is downstairs and here. Okay, so I need to do something here. If you want only two colors, you can make a third. Well, I don't only have two colors, I have four. Yellow, blue, red, and green. One plus one. I, I don't understand. One plus one. How does that help me with anything here? How many can I have on? All of them? Make all the lights come on. Pretty. Yeah, I have no idea what to do here. Um... I'm going to think about this, and I'll be right back. Looks like it fits. There we go. Okay. So, yes, yeah, this, this thing up here saying 1 plus 1 equals is just kind of giving me the general format of this thing. So it's done in rows. So this row is... Well, it's basically doing what the note said, where if you have two colors, you can make a third. So it's mixing colors, so it, the uh, whatever two colors you select in this row will be mixed, and what you want it to equal is what's here on the right. So I was mixing colors until I found a green, I was mixing colors in this row until I found a yellow, and mixing colors in this one until I found cyan. Which is kind of weird if you think about it, because, you know, what's... For two of these, you have to ask what's the point of mixing colors when you already have the color, right? You want to produce green. Well, green's right here. You want to produce yellow. Well, yellow's right here. It's only the cyan one that's missing. In terms of you have to mix colors to actually make it. So it's kind of weird, but... Yeah, it's just about mixing the, the two colors that make the end color, even if you have the original color already here on the left, you don't want to just use it, you have to do, it has to be one plus another color equals this. And I don't know what that actually unlocked. Oh. I guess it unlocked that, and what is this ceiling made of? Looks like pure rust. Looks like we're back to the kitchen of that burger joint. I really don't like those noises. Key to something. See, I remember being inside of a mall in a Silent Hill game. It wasn't pleasant. There were things in the mall. Things that chased you. That doesn't even look like a door, but thank god it is. There's a save point.
There are arrows drawn on the clock face. 3.30. 3.30. I should write that down. Yeah, so time is a theme here. Time being inaccurate. Time being weird. I'm not sure if I should write down... Should I write down every clock I see? Are these the same? Those are the same. Um... We'll see. This, is, this one actually gave me a description on exactly what the time is, and it's also drawn on where the others are not. So I'm just gonna assume I'm good, and then... If I need to come back here, I can. Okay, this elevator seems to actually work. But before that, let's go back, or let's not go back. Apparently we can't. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Arrows around the clock face, 12 o'clock. The town will not release you. And not until you understand your sin, and yourself. Should you figure out the time, enter it in the code panel. The time surrounded by multitude of time... D wait. The time surrounded by multitude of time don't write, though. The... don't write? Though I can't be sh I don't even know what that means. Can you overcome the fury and remember? On the other hand, ignorance is bliss. The time surrounded by multitude of time don't write. What in the hell does that mean? The time surrounded by multitude of time don't write. I don't even know what that means. But anyway, should you figure out the time, enter it in the code panel. Well, given that I've found multiple times, maybe I'm just supposed to try them all until I find the right one, or am I supposed to, like, compile them somehow? Or maybe I'm supposed to add them together. Like, column style? Because I have 3.30 and 12.00 as the two times. Let's, um, let's see. Let's try 3.30. Nope, let's try 12. 1, 2, 0, 0. No, let's try column style. So one, one, five, three, zero. Nope, okay. There's probably more clocks to find.
I feel like my navigation of this place has been very fragmented. I'm not sure where I've been and where I haven't. Um, well, I've just been there. Yeah, I can't look at the times for any of these. Okay, I don't think I finished exploring here. No, I didn't. Okay. So I came from here. I'm not even sure if I finished exploring back there, but let's assume I did and let's go downstairs. Maybe not. Okay, that doesn't look safe. No. No, I don't think we're going down there. Alright, so in that case, did I miss something back here? So, no, the only thing back here is just another another save point right uh, here. Was there a clock in here? Nope. Yeah, none of these other doors are openable. Hmm. No other clocks. No other clocks. So maybe I should write down the, the times of those other clocks. It's just weird that some of them give me descriptions telling me the time and some don't. It makes me think I should ignore the ones that don't give me the description of the time, but... Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I can go into some of these others. I, I think all of them are boarded up, though. Yeah, I can't go into them. Hmm. Well, I'm going to take a look at some of these clocks and uh, see if I can figure something out. I'll be right back. Okay, I believe I just pressed in 6.30? And I don't really know why that worked. I honestly have no idea. I don't actually understand the riddle of the different clock times. But what I did realize, though, is that I only have two times really to work with, at least that I can find and that the game will actually give me a description of. I mean, there's other clocks on the walls that you can read the time of, but I'm pretty sure the ones that it actually directly gives you the text description for, I'm pretty sure those are the only ones that it actually expects you to know. So there's two times, 3.30 and 12 o'clock. And I figured, it's gotta be some sort of a, like, combination of them or something, right? And there's really not that many combinations, especially since the hours, the beginning, can only be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12. And then the minutes, the last two digits, have to be probably either 30 or 00, zero since we have 3.30 and 12.00 zero zero as the two different times. So I just <laughs> I just kept mashing stuff. So did I... I think I did 6.00, zero zero, didn't I? I'm not quite sure. I was just kind of brainlessly doing them. How is that... I'm not sure how you're supposed to figure that out. Yeah, I have no idea. But, um... There you go. An 
unknown key. this room. Uh, nothing good can happen in this room. There's no exits other than the one I just came through. Oh god. But I have to do something in there, surely. Oh, there's a note. Here I atoned for my sins in blood. You do not seem to realize what pain you've brought to the people around you, and even parts of your own soul. Come to think of yourself as a victim, then you can remember, and understand everything. else in this room? What do I do now? I came in here, the only thing I got was a key. The key opened that up and it gave me a note. But I'm not sure how that allows me to progress. Do something in here. Come to think of yourself as a victim, then you can remember and understand everything. Does the key that I got open up multiple doors? something change here? Doesn't seem so. What am I missing? Do I need to go back to where I came from? Back here? Don't see why. Hmm. I'm missing something. I'm gonna try to find what it is and I'll be right back. Okay, well, I didn't really find anything new. But, um, upon rereading that note that said I need to think of myself as a victim, and it said, Here I atoned for my sins with blood. Maybe it's saying that I need to kill myself? It seems doubtful, but I don't know. Let's try it. I sounded a rag dolly. I don't think that worked. Um, no it didn't. Okay, I have no idea. Oh, okay, just give me a hint. A sacrificial pit. Perhaps I'll find it behind one of the closed doors. 
find a sacrificial pit behind one of the closed doors. But... I... I mean, I already tried <laughs> running into the abyss and that certainly didn't work. And I've tried to open every single door and all of them seem to be still be locked. Have I found a sacrificial pit? Oh, I think I just found it. Um, I th Have I been here before? I can't remember if I've been here before. I think I might have just lost track of where I was or I totally missed this. But this elevator shaft is actually a different elevator shaft than the other one that I've been taking. I think I went up this, didn't I? I guess? Wait, did I? The colors have vanished from my world. No, 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 I've been, I've been here before. But it must be somewhere here. Because this is the only place that I didn't realize I can still go. It's gotta be somewhere here. The key fits. Okay, yeah, so I guess the key fits multiple doors, or maybe I got another key at some point, and I don't even know. The Sacrificial Pit. That might be this. But uh, let's take a look around before I just go jumping down a hole. Hello. Another unknown key. Oh, there's even another clock over here. I wonder if this one says 6.30. Oh, it does. It says 6.30, so yeah, that's... The answer is just one of the clock's times. Hmm. Alright, let's go find what this key is for. This is the sacrificial pit. Looks like there's another clock. Wow, I guess I got really lucky with mashing the uh, time incorrectly. Not not incorrectly, but time mashing the time into the keypad correctly. Bit of a confusing sentence. In this hole is where the souls of victims were dumped who would not acknowledge their sins. I paid for my sins with my life, but not here. Death is never more insignificant than when people atone. Okay, so I guess that's probably not where I want to go. I paid for my sins with my life, but not here. Three thirty. Hmm, that's the second clock. This is three thirty. Maybe it is where I need to go, though. I mean, if it's not there, then it's got to be the big hole in the main room, and it didn't seem to be sacrificial. Let's go test it, shall we? Yeah, 
Here we go. Geronimo! I think it worked. I didn't hear... Yeah, things didn't go red. Is that... Is it really my fault? No. That's impossible. Okay, it's taken me to another place where I couldn't access before. Yep, just past the pit, down on the lower floor. Well, I think I should end this episode here because I think it might actually be over an hour long at this point. I generally try to keep it under an hour, but I think I failed in this case. Oh well, this game's a lot of fun. What can I say? So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.